this swarm has recently moved in to an empty bait hive sitting in my equipment shed. I have no idea how large it is. I don't think it's been in there very long. Normally, I would leave it for four or five days and then move it to a permanent location. But today, I'm going to go ahead and see what's in there. I won't be moving the hive during the daylight hours. My plan, if there is a viable amount of bees inside, is to move them into a regular hive box and to move this stand right here under the location where they are now. In this case, I think the foragers coming in will be able to find the new hive box sitting directly below. And then tonight, after dark, I'll move it to the new bee yard. Well, it seems that this is a smallish swarm of bees. I could probably put them into a new box. I did have a 10 frame hive ready. Oh, decisions. Giving the bees too much space is a bad thing. They have too much room to, to patrol. Giving them not enough room is a bad thing because they may feel crowded and leave. This trap does not have an inner cover, so I'm going to try to pick up the whole top and ease it down into this other box first then I can proceed to shake off the bees that are attached. When a swarm moves into a bait hive that only has a couple of frames for scent, they will attach to the top of the hive very often. This swarm trap did not have an inner cover, therefore the bees have done just that thing. They have attached to the top and started to draw comb. It is absolutely amazing the amount of comb they can draw in a short time. In this catch box, I only had two frames, one with some old comb. The bees have already started to work to repair this comb. So I'm going to move this whole frame, even though it's not very desirable looking, over into the new box that I'm going to be putting the other bees in. Look at this beautiful white comb that the bees have drawn in just a few days. And I see the queen, and she's not marked. There's the queen. She's down in that seam of bees. We don't want to hurt her. Have to remember that she is capable of flying because she flew to swarm. There she is. Can you see her red abdomen? Now the queen and her bees are in the new hive box. I have 10 frames in the box and they're pushed together. Over here, we have bees that still smell some queen substance and they're wondering, where'd she go? Now I have to decide what to do with this beautiful comb. If there's any brood in it, it may be worthwhile putting a small piece in the, the new hive, but I kind of hope there is not any in there. New comb is very soft. Great, I see eggs. Okay, 
normally when you have comb from a swarm trap or cut out, you will take it and use large rubber bands or string to place it in a frame and put it in the hive. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do that today because I can't find my rubber bands. So what I'm going to attempt to do is to place this little piece of comb that has eggs that's already known to the bees in this frame that was scheduled for recycling. Perhaps I can use some of these wires to get it to stay in place. This is not a long-term fix. I don't expect this frame to stay in that hive forever. I'm just trying to give this swarm some brood that may help anchor them to the hive until they get settled in. Well, I'm not thrilled, but thank goodness beeswax is malleable and easy to work with. This is worth a try, even if it ends up being a failure. I'm placing this frame with, a, with eggs right near where another frame of drawn comb is. And the hope is that it won't fall out of the frame before the bees have time to do some repair. Okay, so now I have the queen in a hive with 10 frames sitting here very closely to the other one where the swarm entered. The next thing I'll do is to bring that box out here and set it on top. That will help these bees that are coming back in to that entrance realize that their queen is in this box. We're about 15 or 20 minutes in now. Things seem to be calming down. I have fewer bees going back to the old location behind them. And with a lot of workers scenting at the front to call their sisters, more and more bees seem to be able to make it home. Now it's possible they could resent this intrusion and leave, but it's the best chance that I can give them. So hopefully they will stay and be relocated to the main bee yard later tonight.